what is up guys welcome back to another Willy Sesson video thank you so much for tuning in it is awesome to see you guys you are going to be watching how to build Totoro or T Totoro from my neighbor Totoro I totally wish he was my neighbor that'd be awesome but this video is dedicated to my dad thank you so much dad for introducing me to the whole Ghibli movies and things like that I absolutely loved this film and I just wanted to build something for you guys and my dad to kind of say thanks and yeah this this uh yeah let's just build it so you're going to need block of quartz, you're going to need black concrete, you're going to need grey concrete. You're also going to need some smooth sandstone. This is for his awesome chest hair sort of belly thing that he's got going on. And I've just got some swiftness if I wanted to fill in some bits and bobs quickly. So yeah, let's hop right into it. First things first guys, you're going to get your grey concrete and you're going to go 11 blocks long. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like so, be careful not to hit woody. And then we're going to go six up. So we've already got one here. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. That is six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, cool. And then you're going to fill this in like a rectangle. So, like so. So this is six, and this is 11. And now we can just bring this out a block on both sides, guys. Oops, not like so like so here we go and then we can just fill in this little bit of the front here and this whole line needs to be filled in this wall goes up quite a bit so let me just double check how much it is I only just built this guy so you might see me referring back to my original build quite a bit but do not panic it will still get built so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay that's cool so that's already three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're going to leave the arms off for now guys these are kind of the arms that stick out a little bit he's got claws at the bottom there and he's also got a tail but we're going to put them in afterwards just so we don't get confused so now we're just going to fill this entire section in he's kind of it, it, i would say this is kind of his shoulder and his and his hip totoro or totoro's hip pretty cool yeah, I absolutely love that film and I just wanted to build something in Minecraft for everyone to build. I mean, you got to have your own Totoro in your world. It'd just be awesome. And if anyone wants to request any more Ghibli sort of builds and things like that, please let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. That would be super cool. Alright, for now guys, we're going to leave the back kind of open because we need to extend it a little bit later on so we can add the head. So don't worry about that for, for now. We're going to add, we're going to fiddle in this chest piece. If you guys need to pause the video at all, please feel free to do so. I won't take any offense. It's no problem. I know I go quite a little bit quick in my tutorial. So just feel free to pause the vid, go back and see where um, you might have missed off or something like that. So yeah, don't, don't panic. It's all good. And if you do build this on survival, please let me know in the comments as well. That'd be awesome. Right, now we've got that filled up, we're going to grab ourselves our smooth sandstone. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7 along the bottom, but we're going to leave a two-way gap for his feet. There you go, like that. Then you're going to go out a block here. You're just going to go out another block up here. Then you're going to build this up. Oops, not that high. So you're going to build this up to 1, 2, whoops, ah, two three four five six and seven that's good it's seven on the bottom seven up the sides so that's seven right there that's good one two three four five six and seven this is where counting really comes in handy for for minecraft maths is way more handy than you think in minecraft don't know about you guys but i absolutely despise maths so yeah it does suck a little bit but i guess counting does help in your tutorials so yeah but there you go guys, that is his stomach. We're just going to build this up a block up now. We're going to build this in though. Because as you can see we're on this level. Just here look. So now we need to come in one block. Like so. For each of his kind of shoulders here. Then we're going to fill this in. Nice and simple. All the way up with a smooth sandstone. I made it kind of a 3D model just so that you could have so it looked like if you wanted to build say May um, next to him or something it would look very 
very cool. And if you guys do build me or, or any of the other characters from my number tutorial, please let me know. That'd be so epic. If we can add this to some worlds, that'd be wicked. Okay, and then we're just going to do so like a four-way pattern like that, starting one in the middle. So three from each side, and then on that middle one, go down one, go out two, leave a gap, go across two, go across two, put one in there, and then do the same basically. Then you leave a, a three-way gap in between these two, and then stick one in the middle, like so. And they're kind of his chest hair pieces. Those are what make the Toro hairy. <laughs> so we're going to fill this across now, like so. And then this is actually where it gets quite tricky. I think the back is the trickiest, but the face is also very tricky. What you're going to do for this is you're going to go in a block like this, go up like that, and go out. So out one block, so it's basically on the little ledge, the, the rigid bit here that you made. And before you continue with the face, we're just going to build the arms before we forget to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and just just going to double check I've done it the right way yep okay cool so we're just going to go all the way down you need to do one of these on each side as well guys so all the way down oopsie daisy Mr. block there we go up to about here so you've got space to put in fingers so basically you need a block gap at the top so you've still got this three three sort of stepped pieces and then you need to leave this gap and then a two-way one here so then you can put your fingers in one there two there and one there basically to look like claws but obviously we know Tutorial doesn't use the claws for anything malicious so it's pretty cool and then we're going to start from the top and do the same again here two three four five six seven eight oops seven my bad a lot of sevens in this build nice and simple there you go Fill this all the way up. Like so, let me just double check on this side. Yep, cool beans. Okay. It's going well guys, we're doing well. If you guys have got this far, you're doing very well, don't worry. It's a very big build. Now you're gonna go back to his face and you're gonna go one block out again. Do the same on the opposite side. And now we're gonna bring this bottom row backwards. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six backwards. So two three four four five and six wow he's got a big head and then we're gonna go in a block so in a block here and then come out in a block on the other side and come out and then we're gonna do the same again so in a block and out and then we're gonna just fill this in there you go fill that up and now we're going to come back to the back afterwards for the bottom half because, like I said, it, is, it does get a bit, little bit confusing trying to plonk in some, some pieces where you don't know pieces go. And you could make the back however you want. I might make this one a little bit different from that one just so it's not as confusing for you guys. Um, but you could build it, like I said, however you'd like. The back is not really what people are looking at. They want to look at his, his awesome face. So, yeah. Right, now back to the front. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four blocks up two three four we're gonna go in and up and in and up again and then we're gonna bring this across my apologies guys I have a little bit of hay fever today so if you hear me sniffing a little bit I apologize so one two three and four so one two three oops ah no fall okay that's cool we got that the right size so there's a two-way gap in the middle of them two then up and then up again there you go. So this sort of shape should be made on your guys. So he's got you can see the cheeks where it's actually his kind of eyeball slots. And then he's gonna have a nose in the middle with a little mouth. You can make this mouth however you'd like by the way, you can customize this however. I'll show you a bit more about how you can customize your very own tutorial afterwards. But yeah, for now, let's get building his eyes. So the eyes are quite simple. You go up two, then you go up another two like that, connect that connect that then you go down to that one that one and that one simple as then you do the opposite on the other side so that one that one you can fill this in to across two and then fill this one up like that there you go 
pretty cool, right? Looks pretty good. They can bring this ridge line across. So his brow line just can be filled in. Up until this part where it gets a little bit weird. So what we're going to do is just fill in the eyes. So they've got their own kind of compartments now, if you like. And stick a line of black concrete in there. And then one up, like so. And that is a nose. Completed. See, it's harder. I think it's harder than it looks. There we go. I mean, harder than it sounds, my bad. And then you can stick his mouth in underneath that, that nose just there in the middle. You could actually, what you could do for this is if you wanted to leave it like a smile, you know, like when he sees, when he gets the raindrops on him in the bus stop, you could stick his teeth in there with the quartz. Um, <laughs> you could do that if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it as his kind of surprise expression like that. I just think it looks the cutest one. Now what you're going to do for this bit is you're going to come to the outside of the build and you're going to go cross all the way, fill that in and then you're going to bring this one along too like so. So this bit, this entire cheek bit here gets filled in which is nice and easy. Oops, uh, just come underneath that, there you go. Make sure that, that entire wall is all filled in. You don't want the walls to be hollow otherwise it you could be able to see it from the outside I think. So it gets a little bit strange. It'd be a hollow tutorial which wouldn't we wouldn't we wouldn't be wouldn't be what we wanted really. Wouldn't be good. Okay. Fill that in like that. And then once you've done that you've got this bit going now. You've done a really good job. You can leave these ones. So you just fill in this like so and do the same on the other side like so and then you're going to do the back just fill this in easy peasy simple as simple as sauce because sauce is good <laughs> okay there you go okay guys so once you've done that you can come to his head and you can fill this up so basically you're giving his his head a nice roof which is good I'm just going to grab myself some swiftness again there you go Fill this nicely, fully in. You don't want any gaps. Just you don't want it to be headless. That would that would suck a lot. There you go. And now we're just going to fill in the ears quickly. You can do the ears. Are nice and simple. They are two blocks in, so they are one, two, and they're there. They're also on the same on the other side. So nice and symmetrical. Come up, and then go out one. Like that. Basically, you go out three. Come up, go out three, and then you stick one on top, like so. Very, very cool, very simple, very nice looking. And then we do the same. And my Amazon Echo just came on for some reason. I have no clue why. But there you go. That is his face. So basically, you could leave this however you like it now. You've done the front design. It looks really, really good. But to add a little bit more detail, you can come to the back and just do a strange design that's down here. So what I did was I went from this one I did gosh that is a bit strange okay like that and like that and then I went in two blocks I think that is oh three okay but two from that one <coughs> and then you went down like that cool and then this is where his tail comes in so what you do for his tail is you bring a couple blocks out like so one, two, three, four, five to be exact. So three, four, and five. Then you go up to make this end one, two. Then you go up a couple there. Just fill that block in there. And then once you've done that, you can grab, you can make this front bit three blocks long, like so. And then start to kind of bring this in at an angle. So like that okay now once you've done that you can grab you're doing a good job you can grab yourself this bit and punch a hole in there and then stick a couple blocks just fill this over now oops not too much but there you go it's like that just gonna have a look at what the back's doing over here so it kind of comes in another block Interesting. It's very, very weird. The design I've done here is very strange. But I want to get this tail, this tail to be quite exact, so so it's symmetrical for both the builds. So it goes like that, 
I'm just going to do my own design now. From taking away from my original because it's quite confusing, I just realised. So, like that. And then the back. The other side, we're going to do the same. So, two blocks from this one. Oops, and come in. Is that the same? Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, okay, cool. And then you can fill this one down, like so. And I'm just going to build this all the way across now. So just stick some blocks in. There you go. There you go. I think that's all good. And just fill this in. Nice and simple. I don't know what I did with my original one. I think I made it as confusing as possible. But I did build a, a separate design before. And I kind of adapted it and made it what it is now. But I guess I made it a little bit confusing for myself as well. So my apologies there guys. But that is that's much better. And you can add a section on the back if you wanted to. To kind of connect it up to the head. Which we'll just do as well. This section kind of needs to be filled in one block leaving like a one block gap on the outside there and then go in another block and go in a third just there so there you go that's a little bit simpler from that one you can make it however you want like I said the back is not really going to be seen as much as the front and the, this one looks a little bit um, chubbier than this one but as long as you've got the front down it, it's not a problem trust me it's not a problem but let's show you how, some, how you can customize your tutorial in any way you would like so obviously I told you about that, that face you can make if you stick some some quartz there to make that smile that he's got it looks very cool and then if we grab ourselves some leaves you remember under that bit in the bus stop he kind of he's got that leaf hat on and um is it which one's what's the older girl called i'm not sure i know the younger girl's called mate and uh her sister gives tutorial a umbrella and he starts to it doesn't need a roar or something and makes all the, the, the water come down from the trees and stuff and it looks awesome but there you go, you can make that leaf hat if you would like to customise your tutorial in any way you want these two look really good together especially if you hit like two you can have them kind of expressing um, any different expression you want really you can tell a story, you can tell a really awesome story you could also change up what I did for my first ever build was I made a I put an item frame in there for with a it was a stripped bir birch wood when I made my first ever one which is really kind of bad compared to these ones but you could stick that in there if you wanted to to make the nose look like it's got more not like you know nostrils you could do whatever you want guys this is your tutorial now but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial this Totoro tutorial you get it <laughs> nice one Thank you so much for watching. If you do me a favour and check out my other tutorials, we got Woody, we're going to have a Mickey one very soon, Alien, Forky, Genie, Yoda, Spider-Man from Far From Home, and loads of Transformers. That would be epic. But thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Woody Assassin. You guys have been awesome. I will see you all next time. Take care, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content. Goodbye for now, guys. Peace out.